Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fantasy match review. This is for the game between Sunrisers and the Punjab team. And before I get to the pitch conditions, the previews or, or the base team, any of that, ensure that you smash the like button and participate on the fan to play app. The 200% deposit bonus is live for all of the new users. All you need to do is sign up with the link in the description. You will get an exclusive 200% sign up bonus, uh, deposit bonus. Apart from that, the 100% cashback offer has now been extended on Rario for all of you amazing people you'll get a 1600 sign up bonus with the app link in the description so don't miss out on this offer you'll get all the money or rather up to 4.5 dollars back from whatever amount that you pay for your first bronze match pack not silver not gold only bronze so ensure that you make full use of this offer it's for a limited period of time and now let's look at the venue conditions for today so as far as this game is concerned it's going to be played in Hyderabad and last game that we saw here was 200 plus in the first innings followed by just 130 odd in the second innings so we saw a big score from RR where Butler and Jaswal got into the bowling lineup and we can expect something similar here but will totally depend on the start this team gets because both these teams up top are slightly uncertain we know that Dhawan sometimes like at times takes his own time to start off in the innings so it will be interesting to see how that goes but all in all the last time we saw this uh, saw a game here, happen here the pitch was pretty much even out and did not favor spin or pace either side even though in previous seasons we have seen that spin has got some help so that may be a scenario that you can try out in the grand leagues and on that note let's make our base team for this game so over to the base team for this game and we'll start straight with the keeping section where I'm going to go with Jitesh Sharma Bhanuka Rajapaksa has been injured off late while Prab Simran Singh has been exceptional in the way he started but he plays very high risk we've seen a few drop catches of him and hence I'm currently not opting for him plus Jitesh will take the gloves for so some bonus points from there as far as uh, the SRH side of things is concerned Anmol Preet kept for kept for them in the last game but good chance that Andre Klaassen comes in for them or Glenn Phillips but for now I'm opting as the same 11 and I'm taking Jitesh Sharma from the batting side of things there's an ex-SRH here, ex here in Shikhar Dhawan while there's also an ex-Punjab in Mayank Agarwal so interesting setup there but I'm going with Rahul Tripathi he looked very calm and composed even though the last pitch that they played on was quite bad to bat on but he seemed to find his own and that is important then we look at the all-rounder section of things and here's where this team will get interesting for you I'm going with Sikandar Raza, Sam Curran, Washington Sundar and Aiden Markram so I'm opting for each one of them Aiden is a captain he did bowl two overs in the last game and against this side who has Shikhar Dhawan up top don't be surprised if he starts the bowling or Sundar starts the bowling so that is a scenario that can happen and Eden is a class act with the bat. I know that he got a decent ball and the foot movement was poor in the last game. But he's a class act and I think he'll come back stronger. From the Punjab side of things, Sam Karan and Sikandar Raza in the side for me. Arshdeep Singh, Adil Rashid will be other good choices for you to make. Now, Adil Rashid, if he's bowling second, he'll stay in my team. Else, he'll go out. So, that will be something for you to keep in mind. Umran Malik will surely be in the team for me. I know that his pace and bounce is there, but his line length has been erratic. But you know that when a bowler is bowling at that pace, he's generally likely to get a wicket here and there, even if it's a bad ball. So I feel like that 29-37 bank of points is very useful, especially when the games have been so unpredictable. And now you have the last choice to make. Now I'm not sure on Rabada and his availability yet. But Ellis is surely going to end up playing if it's not Rabada. And in that case, he'll be a good choice. And why so? Because we know that if they do not bring in Klaassen and Phillips, that does keep the Hyderabad batting end up uh, in the end overs in trouble. And hence, Ellis can be a good pick yet again. Captaincy and vice captaincy choices, you have many good choices to pick from. But I'm going to go with Aiden Markram and Sam Curran. I'll reverse this if Sam is bowling first and uh, else I'll keep it the same if Sam is bowling second 
and uh, this is what the overall setup of the team looks like i'll also just take you through the other picks that i would be inclined to try in this game so the other picks that i would surely try in this game one would be anmol preet singh if he's going to continue keeping then that makes the value decent for you shahrukh khan if he's batting first harry brook depending on the pitch and the conditions because he has seemed a little bit at sea against spin from the all rounder section i think i've covered all the important picks while from the bowling section obviously kagizo if he plays bovi if there is any help or any indication of help from the pitch report rahul chair if he's bowling second and if there is any sort of turn available in the track natarajan if he's bowling first and fazal ak farooqi in a similar scenario as bovi so yes that's the round up of my gl options for this game and now let's get to the other options that we have on the other apps so i wanted to highlight in this game on rario i have an umran malik black card now his 20% xp uh, ns23 boost means that even though my overall xp of the card is less because i've bought him as an ns23 card i will get some startup startup bonus now what is ns23 it is basically a concept for new users new buyers on the rario platform who have missed out on the initial advantage of buying cards so you can see some of my old cards have 45% and 40 uh, like the max xp but there are many new users and to ensure that they are part of the competition this ns23 uh, concept has been made live by them so that even if you are a new user you do not miss out on the chance to play just because of xp so ensure that you take part because it puts that level playing field back for you and the best part about this league currently is only 154 teams have joined while there are prizes to be won up till the 525th rank and rupees 640 just for participation is what i am currently looking at while even in the bronze contest it is pretty much similar with 4793 joinees but prizes to be won right up till the 21000 rank so good chance for you to make good use of these guaranteed winnings because as the league goes on you will not get this chance plus you can you have to buy this card only once it stays with you ahead through the IPL plus it also stays with you in the international so you can keep using the card again and again and you don't end up losing anything in that manner exchange 22 the picks and the game is not live yet hence i'll be unable to discuss that part in this video but i hope all of you enjoyed it and obviously we'll also have the golden question for today which because i'm talking about umran malik now and the amount of uh, pace and line and length that he has which has been erratic off late but let's see how it goes for him tomorrow and the question for tomorrow is how many wickets do you think umran malik will take so that's the question for tomorrow and what you think his figures are so you can comment maybe 2 for 23 and in case you like me a little more maybe you can say 5 for 55 a uh, 5 for 45 so yes i don't mind the extra runs till he takes the wicket so do let me know in the comments what your predictions are and ensure you smash the like button before you leave this video thank you so much for tuning in